choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. Hola mi gente maravillosa, what's up guys, guess what? So today, maybe, possibly, who knows, I will be experiencing one of the most fascinating things I ever wanted to see when I was a kid. Three, two, one, ignition, and lift off of Falcon 9. Rocket launch. So, welcome guys to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, right here in Orlando, Florida. Woke up early this time, well, earlier than usual. This is because I live in Palm Beach County, 2.5 hours away from the Space Center. So if you are in Miami, it will be 3.5 hours. And if you are in any of the theme parks in Orlando, it could take one hour driving. When you arrive at the Space Center pre-gate area, you pay for the parking. It is a $10 fee per car for the entire day. There are many parking spots, so there is no problem finding one. Just make sure you memorize the area and the parking spot number. So you can pretty much buy a ticket either from these rocket vendors. Uh, I don't know how you, how you call it, but here is, you can be able to pay. Simple, easier, and there are not many people around here. So. Now you need to make sure that uh, one of these machines are available. Sometimes they are not working, so, but it'll let you know on the screen. Right now, I'm gonna tap to explore. Yep. I arrived around 10.30 a.m. so I may have enough time to explore everything, but in my case, the time will be shorter since I need to document and film the area. So let's see how it goes. My goal is to explore everything today, and maybe who knows, I will learn more about experiencing a live rocket launch, but I have doubts. Okay, so this is not a sponsored video, but if you're wondering where I am getting my music on my videos, well, Epidemic Sound does the magic. They have the largest royalty-free music library from different music artists around the world. If you're starting as a content or video creator, then sign up with my link in the description of this video to get 10% discount on your first 12 months and the first 30 days are free. Okay, let's go back to the video. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have to look up the scan right there for me, please? Just turn the barcode. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I go through? Okay, so let me introduce you to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Oh, look at this. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm inside the Kennedy Space Center, I will guide you through this impressive complex. I start my journey to the rocket garden. This is not an ordinary garden. Here rest the rockets that were launched into space to improve communication. The installation of a GPS system for military purposes and the transport of a chip and C call ham to test the spacecraft life support system in 1961. Four months later, one of these spacecrafts sent Alan Shepard into space, making him the first American in space. Walking among these colossal machines makes me realize that nothing is impossible to build and no matter the age we can think big to reach big things we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing not because they are easy but because they are hard Right next to the rocket garden or next to the main gate is the Heroes and Legends featuring the US Astronaut Hall of Fame. I thought it would be just a museum with statues or images but it proved me wrong. I really recommend exploring it. Just wait for the special effects and the panoramic audio visuals. Unfortunately, I was not allowed to film with phones or worse with my camera, so I don't want to ruin the surprise effect. However, I can understand why this is the first attraction to explore. Give yourself at least 45 minutes to experience the entire building. So these are the things that you can get at the, uh, the visitor center if you want to get information. It's a gift shop, so you can buy souvenirs. Mm -hmm. 
So I am right here. This is the rocket garden. The new attraction at the Kennedy Space Center. The right place to discover the current and upcoming cutting edge planetary space exploration innovation from NASA. When I entered, I feel like I was in a type of aerospace airport waiting to be transported to any of their three locations Red Planet, Uncharted Worlds, Cosmic Wonders, or Dairy Explorers. This is the Spaceport KSC immersed attraction you can't miss. They put a nice environment, a nice uh, atmosphere with the music and all the lights. As you can see, <laughs> it's okay. So you can see people come here with the family and kids and they really enjoy the place. Also the adults. I was about to encounter the fourth space shuttle built and the last to fly into space, the Atlantis. I did not know what to expect, I waited in line for around 15 minutes and then we were all moved to a salon with a large high definition screens. They project a cinema clip telling an emotional story of visionaries that wanted to build a reusable rocket looking like a plane to transport passengers and probes. The end goal was to bring the shuttle with the passengers years back home. Then everyone got their cameras ready to meet, not a replica but the actual space shuttle. The shuttle served to deploy the planetary probes to Venus and Jupiter. Also secret missions for the US military, transferring astronauts to and from space stations. You may have to wait around 15 minutes in line inside the building, but it is worth the experience. Here you can use your imagination and pretend to be the next astronaut thanks to more than 60 interactive immersive exhibits and simulators. The Space Shuttle Atlantis exhibits an exact replica of the Hubble Space Telescope, currently traveling into space for over 25 years. Okay, so here is another spot where you can do space training simulators. You can just play around and push buttons and see what is the displays and the monitor, monitors are telling you to do. So that's pretty cool. Kids love it. I love it. <laughs> so that is where the satellites uh, was launched up in the space. So previously, uh, we were actually located in a theater where we were able to, to watch the story of how this was built and what was the motivation to make this happen. So it was pretty cool. I think it's like a 15 minutes movie. And then you go to another second section that everything gets dark and there is a display and immerse type of uh, 3D uh, or 4D <laughs> uh, visuals that makes it very real like a UR right in the moment where this space where I was launched but that's pretty cool and then at the end the Atlanta is right in front of you which is the real one this this one here yeah it, it's worth to, to come here this is the this one you cannot miss period all right so keep this one in your bucket list. Uh, Forever Remembered is a memorial honoring the astronauts who lost their lives during space shuttle missions like the Challenger and Columbia.
Another attraction inside the Space Shuttle Atlantis is the Space Shuttle Launch Experience. This is one of their immersive rides that will make you feel that you are inside the shuttle to be launched and travel through space. So it is really impressive the size of this. Look at the engines. It's just big. It's huge. Just in case you want to take pictures or photograph, um, you have, they will do it right there. All right, so this tour is up to 2.30, so right now it is 1.49, so that's why I prefer to stop going to the different places or rides, just to take this tour when I see what it is. The bus is actually full of people. Now this is going to take us completely away from the, this complex, so... <coughs> Good afternoon! Whoa. Good afternoon! And it's a guy tour. Alright, that sounds better. Okay, so they want to okay, explain us what is this about? The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, we welcome you aboard. My name is Laura. I'm going to take you on a tour of NASA's Kennedy Wait, Space Wait, is this a restricted area? Awesome! This is a bus tour inside the complex where the driver and Emily Calendry, an Emmy-nominated science TV show, will guide you through the most mission-critical areas of the Kennedy Space Center. I recommend finding a seat on your right side if you want a better and closer view of the launch pods and the Vehicle Assembly Building VAB, the largest single-story building in the world. The bus tour will take 15 minutes and ensure you catch the last trip around 2 p.m. Apollo Saturn V Center. The bus tour drops us all to the Apollo Saturn V Center, which is an annexation of the main entrance of the Kennedy Space Center. I have to wait a few minutes for everyone from the bus tour to let us in. There is a pre-show with visuals telling emotive historical events like the space race in the Cold War, when ex-president John F. Kennedy published his famous speech to conquer the moon. Apollo 8 and the firing room. We were moved to the firing room theater after the pre-show. This is the same room used by the NASA crew to direct and launch the mission to orbit the moon in 1968. This is not a replica, this is actual place and same computers used in 1968. You will get into the hangar and you won't imagine what you will see next. During the Apollo program, the colossal Saturn V rocket sent American to the moon. There are several stations with exact replicas of instruments and machines used by the first astronauts who step on the moon. Don't miss the Lunar Theater, the replica exhibition of the first astronauts who stepped on the moon, the moonscape, and the dining tables placed under the rocket. Okay, so this is the original hangar where the rocket was placed, which is the same rocket that was launched to the moon. This is exactly the same area where they use all the instruments and the panel to do all the launches of these rockets. So nothing has changed, it's the same spot. The outside is, you see right here? This is actually the place to watch the launch. And tonight there's gonna be a launch. It was yesterday, by the way, but they have to push it till today. It's gonna happen at seven o'clock at night, I think so. Heroes. Those three guys reach the moon and walk on the moon. Very cool. Now we're looking to go back to the moon once again. Well, at the Kennedy Space Center, uh, you also gonna see restaurants in different places, like this Orbit Cafe. And there are also other areas where you can rest, sit, 
eat. I brought my own beverage. They didn't say anything about it. I brought my camera. They didn't say anything about it. They're just gonna check your luggage or your, your bags or your backpack. Unfortunately, I didn't have the chance to explore every gift shop and other attractions like the Lego Build to Launch, the new Mars Rover Vehicle Navigator, the IMAX Theater, the Space Mirror Memorial, and perhaps the encounter of an astronaut. Before planning your trip to the Kennedy Space Center, you will expect to spend at least six hours at the visitor complex. I recommend the full day, nine hours. If you truly want to see everything and take your time, rest and have lunch at any of their dining spots. So I recommend downloading the complex map application and studying it before arrival. Oof. It's hot. So all right guys, what do you think? Do you like it? I think it was cool. It is 6.20 and I am heading to the uh, the launch view. That's how it is called, it's on the east. So I'm in the US-1, I'm taking the SR528EB. I don't know if I'm gonna make it and also I don't know if that is the place that I have to go. Wow, I cannot believe this. It looked far in the map, but it's not that far. Oh, hey. Thank you. All right, it is seven o'clock at night and still not seeing anything. It was a very cool day, great experience. If you're looking for big rides or like the ones that you experience in Universal Studios or Disney or any of those uh, theme parks, it's not the right place for you. But if you want to learn a little bit more about the aviation and space travel or the mosquitoes are all over the place right now. The way how NASA built this that infrastructure and start building all those rockets and create some more research in terms of science and how we can keep improving in terms of uh, technology well that is the right place so that is what the oh my gosh those mosquitoes are killing me <laughs> so that is the kennedy space center you never know what's gonna happen i was lucky literally i was lucky to be able to see this and my trip here was not because of that <laughs> honestly maybe a minute to view the whole thing it went so fast guys i hope you like this video if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up if you like this video put your comments feedbacks and let me know what is the part that you like the most <laughs> okay i gotta go bye and ciao mosquitoes